Jesus is the perfectly anointed one. Revelation 3 and verse 1. And to the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things says he who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. This week, we are looking at the various introductions of Jesus and what he said about himself as the risen, exalted, glorified Christ. Here's another introduction. Here's an interesting introduction he makes to the church in Sardis. He says that he is the one who has the seven spirits of God. Now, obviously, we know there is only one spirit of God, one Holy Spirit. But the word seven there is significant and is used figuratively. Seven represents perfection in scripture. So he is the one who is perfectly anointed by the Spirit of God, the seven spirits of God. The one who is perfectly anointed by the Spirit of God, where all the seven facets of the Holy Spirit given to us in Isaiah 11 verse 2 are expressed in the person of Christ. The Spirit of wisdom, uh, the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of wisdom, the Spirit of revelations, uh, the Spirit of understanding, the Spirit of might, the Spirit of counsel, the Spirit of knowledge, the Spirit of the fear of the Lord, all seven facets of the Holy Spirit fully expressed in the person of Christ. He has the seven spirits of God perfectly anointed one and he says he holds the seven stars which again represents his workers his messengers he holds them the one who is anointed holds these messengers of his the perfectly anointed one covers his workers and messengers so that they receive their anointing from the perfectly anointed one so christ is the one jesus is the one who has the perfect anointing. And we as his workers receive our anointing from him, the one who is perfectly anointed because he holds the workers, his workers, his messengers in his hands. So this is something for you and me to celebrate our risen Christ, perfectly anointed, the seven spirits of God on him. And we are in his hands as his workers. We receive all of our anointing from him. The one was perfectly anointed. And so we need not suffer any lack. We draw from what he has and we minister out of his anointing flowing through our lives as servants of God. He is the perfectly anointed one. And as we worship him, as we praise him, we acknowledge or recognize him the christ perfectly anointed one and our anointing flowing from him let's worship him let's exalt him lord jesus we exalt you as the one who has the seven spirits of god the one who is perfectly anointed and lord we recognize we as your workers are in your hands and our anointing comes from you that your perfect anointing flows through our lives. So be magnified through all we do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.